Boop. The Muppet Movie. The Muppet Movie. Yes. <laughs> animal, animal. <laughs> the Muppet with Nancy Mitchell's so heavy. <laughs> Nancy Mitchell, you're late. We're going with the Muppet movie. Banshee has the most to talk about. Banshee has the most to talk about. Banshee has the most to talk about. The Muppet movie gang. What say you? Phenomenal. Really good. Well, phenomenal. For a Muppet movie? Really good. Humor, fantastic. True to the creator. Uh... Dancing Vigil, my guilty pleasure. Your heavy guilty pleasure or Muppet movie, your guilty pleasure. pleasure. <clears throat> what say you? What say you? I I liked it. I give I give the Muppet movie straight up seven and a half out of ten. Right. Uh, the ending wasn't the best, uh, but there was some amazing moments in there. The relationship between Miss Piggy and uh, Kermit, so good, so good. Right. First watch, I love it. First watch in 1980. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. I loved the Muppets back then. I still, I, I, I love the Muppets until Disney bought them, right? Um, so that was my take. Love the soundtrack. The soundtrack's amazing. Uh, Dancing Visual. Still laughing, uh, laughing at how oh, that voted in. How oh, God voted in. Cheryl says 10 out of 10. She's given a 10 out of 10. The end ending was awesome. The ending was awesome. Really? You love the ending. I love I love the build up. I love the build up. Right? And yes, I saw I saw Woke. You saw Woke? In uh, the Muppets? Pure nostalgia. Pure nostalgia. 10 out of 10. Dancing visual. Orson Welles best performance. Haha. <laughs> Well, anti woke. You saw anti woke. <laughs> Cheryl's like, oh brother, Ali, you should review uh, Time Band. Time Band is super good, man. I haven't seen it for a long time. Dalf, Muppets rule. Muppets ruled. Uh, Hanson should never have sold it to Disney, and he regretted it. He regretted it, right? He regretted it in a big way. In a big way, right? Uh, Hanson, tell you the truth. Uh, my opinion of creators is this if you've made your money you don't need the money and all this jazz right if if you're you've said what you needed to be said you've had your creative outlet uh, you've lived your life right and if you plan on retiring do not sell your IP your creative life work to these multinational corporations make them creative commons let the world go crazy with it right let your fans go crazy with it that's my little two cents regarding this okay slayer dark disney have ruined star wars uh george lucas <laughs> ruined star wars but disney ruined it even more right I know I'm not even really a fan of Star Wars. Yeah, Time Bandits, Cheryl, Time Bandits. Yes, yeah, Dancing Visual Hansen. Yeah, Slayer. I don't like this whole good versus bad space opera garbage. I prefer morally ambiguous sci-fi thrillers. I agree. More, more. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't mind the good and bad stuff, but I I like sci-fi that's darker, deeper, right? Elder God, this program includes negative depictions and or mistreatments of people, people or cultures. It reads. These stereotypes were wrong then and are wrong now. What is this? You're quoting this. Someone did this warning before Muppets on Disney platform. Are you effing kidding me? Are you? That's the warning they put out before you watch the Muppets on the Disney live stream thingamajiggy? You gotta be kidding me, Elder God. Dancing Visual, Electric Mayhem is my favorite band. Ha ha ha, nice, nice. Elder God, you're joking. Disney doesn't put out this warning, does it? Tell me it doesn't. 
I wish I oh my wow insane insane clowns clowns right what a bunch of clowns man they're ruining Marvel comics like the characters and everything like it's I can't even I I, I can't I, like I can barely watch Marvel superhero movies anymore but Muppets seriously this movie really good really good you could sit down and watch it at any age any age and appreciate it and love it right and appreciate it and love it and if you don't if you don't even at least like it the odds are there's something wrong with you all right and if you find uh negative depictions and or mistreatments of people peoples or cultures you, you need you need to lighten the f up you need to lighten up and enjoy life a little bit more right stop getting corporate centralized power telling you what to think right nor kill 78 not a joke you have to watch it under an adult content not available with kid restrictions <laughs> what you can't even watch this as a kid you gotta be kidding me meanwhile the crap they're feeding children whoa man we're in for an upheaval Dolph, insane in the membrane 100 percent elder god the movie is all about kermit's beliefs and dreams in my opinion the rest are just along for the ride yeah yeah it's it's kermit's um uh, the 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 pure beautiful lens that he looks at the world and wants to include people in his dream and wants people to pursue their dreams like kermit is really a vessel in in for an experience right so accepting of everyone interacting with everyone it's beautiful it's beautiful ryan the good guy bad guy analogy in movies can be easily applied to media like fox news saying ba 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 or good and yeah yeah for sure uh, that was uncensored too by the way dancing vigil if disney gonna do that they need to cancel disney himself yeah yeah you should see like disney check this out just in the comic book realm there are like mickey mouse copyright thing the whole thing with mickey mouse and copyright being extended but when mickey mouse the copyright came into the public domain it should have come into the public domain uh, people took some of the older Disney comic books and reprinted them and they are insanely racist insanely racist these some of these underground comics Disney set their lawyers on and they prevented them from being distributed or published again I had I had I had chance to buy some of them and I didn't do it and I wish I had there was like this was about 15 years ago or so not if yeah about 10 years ago or so and they were selling anywhere between 20 to 30 dollars each there was like 10 of them or five of them something like this I, I wish i bought them they would be worth i have no idea how much and we would be doing readings of them live right nagushka muted because seems like spoilers elder god well i have a dream too but it's about singing and dancing and making people happy and well i found a whole bunch of friends who share the same dream and it makes us kind of like a family dreams get better with the more people who share it who share it with who are your friends doc those guys if you you're not going to let me and my friends go then go ahead and kill me dancing vigil it isn't easy being being woke kermit was pretty deep in that scene elder god the rainbow connection song is so uplifting from pawn to hollywood slayer death i recently learned that uh, 
they renewed the copyright on the Wizard of Oz film sometime in, in the 1960s. So the film won't enter the public domain until sometime in the 2030s. All the stuff should have entered the public domain so, so, so long ago. So long ago. Dancing Vigil. Thanks, Elder. Now that song will be stuck in my head all day, all day. Gang, what are your ratings on this? I say 7.5 out of 10. In terms of nostalgia, in terms of love, uh, I would give it a 9 out of 10, right? Um, 7.5, 8 out of 10. That's my rating on this, the Muppet movie, right? That's my rating on this. Elder God, the Doc Harper character was a walking idea of an American green and exploiting people. Oh, yeah, in Indux, you're on sensor tube. We're talking movies. You're talking shit. <laughs> that sort of that sort of shows what's in your brain. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you are what you eat, and to a certain degree, you are your brain is what you what you speak. When people are talking this, you're talking shit. You uh, you pretty much feel the shit. <laughs> Doc Harper character was it? Doc Harper was fucking amazing. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, First time chat, V rebot Chicho, any uh, advice smoking salvia? Oof. Uh, go to our Bitchu channel, man. I've, I've put out a fair bit of stuff on salvia, salvia divinorum. I can't give recommendations. Uh, I j just shared my experience from the past, like 24 years ago. I, I explored a lot, right? Elagov, we want your legs to sell more legs. <laughs> just the whole concept was trippy, eh? <laughs> Dancing Vigil, 10 out of 10, seeing I nominated it. Awesome Dancing Vigil, great nomination, great nomination. Dancing Vigil's give it a 10. Cheryl, I think, gave it a 10 out of 10 for nostalgia's sake. Just for nostalgia's sake, yeah, this would kick it up. For me, it would kick it up to 9 out of 10, but I say 7 and a half, 7 and a half, 8 out of 10. Um, okay, I really love the cameos. Oh, the cameos were great. The cameos were great. The cameos were fantastic. Really good. And all the different, uh, just different characters in the Muppets universe are absolutely brilliant. Eldegoss, Steve Martin and the wine tasting. Eldegoss uh, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> awesome. Gang, great movie. Highly recommended. If you haven't seen the, the Muppet movie, you should definitely watch the Muppet movie. You should definitely watch the Muppet movie. 